Welcome to Super Scores. My name is Steven and I rate and review popular film scores. Today I'm going over Man of Steel. This film was directed by Zack Schneider and was scored by the famous Hans Zimmer. To be honest, when I first found out that he was going to be doing the music for Man of Steel, I was a little disappointed. His scores before this were very dark, very ominous sounding. I thought he did a brilliant job with them. I loved them so much. But when I heard that he was doing Superman, I was a little uh, cautious about it. I mean, I was still hopeful. I just wasn't sure if he was going to be able to nail it. Well, he did. I know a lot of people were upset about this score because it wasn't the iconic John Williams score. Now, I love that score. It's amazing. To me, it represents the character beautifully. It has the grandiose sense. It's fun and adventurous. And I feel like this new music does have those same sort of elements in it. It represents the adventure and the grandioseness and the epicness and awesomeness of Superman. And I think, though, it also emphasizes the power of Superman. He is the most powerful being, like, ever, and this score reflects that. There's an amazing grandness and epicness to this score, which I think reflects the intense and just the intensity and the magnitude of what is going on in the film. And the action music, ugh, the action music is just so awesome. And it's not just cool to listen to, it's not just intense like a lot of action music is. It has emotion driving it. It has an incredible intensity and you get a feeling of what is kal feeling? What is Jor-El feeling? What are the people feeling who are going through this incredible destruction? And at the same time, while this score can be incredibly epic and loud and powerful, it can also have those very quiet, beautiful moments where you get a sense of who Kal-El is, who Clark Kent is, where he got his values. There is deep sympathy in the score, especially for when Krypton explodes. It is so sad and so just wrenching. One thing that surprised me a lot was how alien this music sounds. It has a very ambient feel to it sometimes. I have actually taken some of this music and just stared up at the stars. A lot of people complained about the destruction in this film, and they called it senseless. But really, if you listen to the music, you get a sense that this danger is real. That is the, like, the biggest theme I can give you, is that the danger is real, the tragedy is real, the destruction everywhere is real, and it is really affecting these characters. There's a real treat in this score at the end where you get Hans's notes, which is a little bit repetitive. It kind of sounds like his attempts, his different trials for what he wanted to make the Superman theme sound like, or just a bunch of other themes. It's really fun to listen to, though. And it doesn't feel really unfinished, quite like the Born Identity theme did. It just, it feels like he's experimenting a little bit. Once again, I love all these songs so much, so picking a top three was pretty difficult for me. But my first one, honestly, there was no question. Flight. This song starts out very subtle, very quiet, and is kind of building up, I believe, what Superman can become. And then what I find was interesting was that Hans could have just used the Superman theme to illustrate Superman flying. Instead, he comes up with a new one. This song feels like the rush and excitement of flight. I get chills listening to this song. I like to even honestly picture myself flying at breakneck speed, just like Superman. This song incorporates orchestra and percussion and even a little bit of electric guitar, and that just makes it fun and fresh. My second favorite is What Are You Going To Do When You're Not Saving The World? This song has the main theme for Superman, but what it does is incredibly interesting. The first part of the song is very quiet and it represents Clark living with Ma and Pa Kent, 
back in Smallville. And while he was living there, he was learning all these values. Then Hans adds a little bit of drums to kind of get us excited and get us motivated to hear the main theme. And then it rushes in and it's not something different. It's actually the same theme from Smallville, but grandiose and loud and brilliant. And to me, what that means is that Superman is who he is because of those small hometown values, just family values that he learned from his parents in Smallville. And I have to say, this main theme definitely does rival what John Williams made. John Williams' theme will always be the iconic Superman theme. But this theme too is incredible. It's an incredible take on the character and I feel like it's very true to who Superman is. My third favorite song is Goodbye My Son, which is so sad and heart-wrenching. You feel the incredible loss that Jor-El and Lara feel for having to send their son away, their only son. But it also hints at the incredible greatness that their son Kal-El will achieve. This score was incredible. I loved listening to it. I'm going to give Man of Steel an A. I really appreciate you people for watching this and for all my followers on Twitter, thank you so much. Also, thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I really appreciate that. If there are any other film scores that you'd like me to review, make sure to comment below. Also, you can find me on Twitter at SuperScoresWars, and if you'd like this review, and you'd like to see some more of my reviews, make sure to subscribe to SuperScores.